It sure is odd to have created a god that, in the end, will destroy you. As in, your soul is gone completely. This also goes for the gods and all the souls in the in-between who would use the wheel, as well as all of Eora. So, my question would be, why would the Ingwithans create such a god? To me, it's just a horrible concept, final soul death, and so many kith believe it is a good thing. This world is strange, and the people including the gods make it all the more so. So, I will end up being destroyed here in Rimmergan's realm one day, and it's inevitable. <laughs> you know, after seeing what Aethys did with Wygwen to show the kith that they do not need the gods, and that the gods are not infallible, is a good thing. He showed Aeora that a god and its chosen can fail. I also think it added to my own skepticism for the need of them. So, let me be clear. We don't know what Aethys is up to. If he is trying to end all of Aeora, then I will do what I can to stop him. But, if he's trying to end the gods, then, well, I might just help him. Though, that would definitely mean that Shoti would not want anything to do with me, as she's quite the worshipper of the gods, except for Aethys. That puts me in a difficult position, then. This encounter with Aethys and Wydwen showed me that Aethys has a different side to him. Perhaps one that I might actually support. Hmm. Give up my love and lose the gods. Or give up my entire view on the gods for my love. That is, I mean, I love her, but that love wouldn't justify the suffering of all kith and then soul death. I hope Aethys is just trying to destroy Aeora, not the gods. If it is the gods, then I will lose Shoti. That much is clear. We shall have to go and see what Aethys is up to, and soon. This is quite unsettling. This looks a little deep for us to try going through. Yeah, won't be able to make it. Well then... Let's try to go back and see the spirit, the Amoa, Wana. We did this. This is kind of shallow. We can cross this. Hello there. The bridge is not ready. If you think you can jump across, then jump across. I can only hammer one nail at a time. The soul of a carpenter grunts and motions the swinging of a hammer, but it has no impact on her surroundings. I'd like to pass. I would like roasted cuttlefish with every meal, but not all get what we deserve. She swings her hammer harder for emphasis. Bridge is not done. Even when it goes all the way, only Mataru are worthy to cross. Ugh, that cast system again. As if in anticipation, the dagger I took from the endless quarries oozes black ichor. So says the Ranga. Take it up with him. Or better yet, go around. She gestures off to the distant obscurity of the endless void. You seem awfully protective of this bridge. As you say, my Ranga wishes to impress the great king. Soon, he visits our island. If I do not finish on time, then I lose my place around the fire. This I cannot allow. She grinds her fist into her palm and nods, determined. I use betrayal to appear to her as her Ranga. Our enemies have landed war canoes on the beach. I must cross to rally the other warriors. Then I will open the way. Sharpen your spear and be ready to lead the charge, mighty one. She nods to me, resolute in her purpose. When my labors are done, where then should I go? No one from the tribe visits to give work any longer. Come with me, the others will make room for you. To follow in your shadow? This is my highest honor. Placing a fist over her heart, she falls in line with the other spirits thronging me. Okay. I guess we're not going through that other... The Drowned Kingdom. I don't even know where this goes. Maybe it would lead over there? Will do. Primal Water, Spirit Residue, Void Shark. Okay, let's see where this takes us then. Oh, I was wondering what this place was. 
Well, this is more light. That maybe I've I can use you. the wide one's sundial to it. The light shines down at the sundial's pinhole and aligns with dusk. Turn the ring towards the dawn. As I adjust the sundial, the ambient light shifts around me, and the ground trembles beneath my feet. Ah, oh, okay. Who are the oh, got spirits. Let's go! Just like the mold, exceed all now. Oh, there's more behind us. Easy. Oh, there's a soul over there. Hello? How are you all? Did you get turned around in the blizzard as well? I knew I shouldn't have left the path. The spirit raises a hand to get my attention. She edges closer at an awkward, shambling gait. I don't know how long it's been since I lost my way. Heeman must have worried himself sick by now. Where do you think you are? A sound like chattering teeth echoes from her soul, but she doesn't respond as if she hears or understands me. No one there? Damn this cold for playing tricks on me again. Just another of the beast's illusions. Heemir, where are you? She searches her surroundings, hugging an object tightly to her chest. It looks like a battle mace. What happened to you? How long have I been lost? Hours, maybe days now. Hemus said he would keep the fires lit, but I cannot see my way to them. And now specters follow me across the ice. She squints at me and chatters her teeth. I can tell she isn't really seeing me. Mind if I take a look at that mace? She hugs the weapon like it's the edge of a precipice. The willpower she expends clutching it might be the only thing holding her together. Hmm. Use betrayal. It's me, darling. It's Hemer. I... I can hear you! I can hear your call! Hemer, I'm frozen to the bone! She shambles a step closer, her soul brightening with hope glowing with the first signs of warmth. Come with me, dear. No more getting lost, I take her hand. Of course, my love. From now on, I go nowhere without your hand and the warm cattle, yeah? Beaming with joy, she steps closer. Rather than fall in line with the other souls trailing behind me, she boldly takes a place at my side and knits her fingers with mine. Oh, I feel bad for her. You got that look to you. You know the one. Do I look that way when I'm reaping? She chews on her lip. The mace she was clutching clangs to the ground and rolls to a stop. I've gained an item, Frostfall. The item was put into my stash. Um, hmm. Interesting item. No one uses maces, though. I feel bad for these souls. Okay, so can we come back here? There is another light. There's another light here where we came out of the endless quarries. I don't know what that would do if... But there's another light here. Is that... Well, it just kind of looks like it. Hopefully we can still cross here. Yeah. Ugh, it's cold in here. Let's see what this light does. Now that I can manipulate it. On it. 
Look wide when sundial. Uh, hold wide when sundial up to the light. Turn the ring towards the dawn. That just did. Oh, I've got it. Can manipulate this thing. Okay, something happened over here. Something has changed. Can we go here? No, it's not so deep anymore. All these just get these spirit shards and residues and I don't even know what to do with them. I suppose they're for enchanting. So we have to go to the Drowned Kingdom. How do we do it? Did something changed. Let's try there going there again. No, it's still too deep, and that soul has come with us. I don't know how to get there. Oh, look at there's another pedestal over here. Maybe this will lower the water. A pool of still clear water fills the pedestal's concave. The closer I stand, <clears throat> the more inviting the water seems. The essence I possess pulsates gently, drawing me near to the basin. Touch the essence to the water. Violent ripples mar the surface of the water. The water at my feet begin to foam and churn. Then abruptly, the water stops. It begins flowing in the opposite direction. Well, that changed things. The essence in my hand continues to pull towards the basin of water. Perhaps touching the essence to the water again will reverse the water's flow. We can go through it now. To whatever lays in this last place. A warm briny breeze flows through the undulating curtains of light. The portal shimmers like sunlight upon the sea. Gaze into its depths. Beyond the gate, I see ancient architecture, apparently Juana in design, set among glistening reefs and cascading water. Though not clearly Nekataka, the imagery is that of wealth, influence, and power. Let's step into the portal. portals here. It's all water and portals. I guess we're going to have to try to work our way through it. Oh, they it return for us! Run! I have no idea what's going on. Usually only children and animals flee me like that. <laughs> children flee you. Not a good sign, Vatner. Oh, this is too deep for us to go into. Which means the only where place to go is up here. Now, what's going on with you guys? They're all Juana, right? You! Stay away! Have your kind not done enough damage? The man shrinks from me. Terror and anger evident in his white eyes and the snarl on his lips. Who are you? We are the King's Council. Hekera, we were, but are no longer. That fool threw us from the palace and banished us from the realm, as if the Outlander's betrayal was our mistake. The Outlander? This wouldn't have anything to do with Theos, would it? Why did he banish you? We dared to say he had made a terrible mistake. Hmm. Where am I? The city of Ukaizo, the seat of Juana power in Aora. Well, what's left of it? I thought Ukaizo was a myth. It is as real as you or I. Was as real. 
Oh gods, what have we done? Why did you run from me? Akara, I mistook you for one of those wretched outlanders. I kind of am. So, outlanders? A strange people from across the sea. They came with promises too big for any kith to keep. But the king let them build their machines in the city anyway, the fool. Now all lies in ruin, and it's their fault. Must be the Anguithans. This is a couple thousand years ago. I see. The mass shifts uncomfortably on his feet, casting anxious looks over his shoulder. Gods. The Soul Collector! It's returned! Run! Uh, hurry, go. But the man can't run. His voice cuts off abruptly, and his edges tear, fracture, and fall away. He is replaced with a creature of pure essence. He turns glowing eyes on me and lunges. Okay, Adair, go after the Soul Collector. We'll handle these others. Oh. Can't make a dent. Glory be! Just like that. Oh, Strange. Together. Could use something to put a little pass in my step. Okay, the spirits are done. Would have been nice if they could have lived. Time to rethink this strategy. Glory be. Essence. Well, there's another of these pedestals here. But let's just look around first. Oh, yes. two soul. Okay, bring them to us, actually. Let's fight them at the bottom of the stairs. Come on. Everybody move back. And another soul. No, back sure. again. Oh. Right oh, no. here. Come on, come down the stairs. No, that's exactly what I didn't want them to do. Come on. There, now I get it. Now only one can come down the stairs, though we can't flank it. Well, I suppose... I suppose I could. Both of them are attacking me. I'm so terrified. Time to rethink this stratagem. Take them down. Uh. 
These things are quite tough. Did I do that? Spirit essence. I guess that's what goes for treasure around here. I trust you. Okay, we have another portal here. Lots of coral. There's a tile over there. Yeah. Prama water. So what does this do? Folk back at the Deerford Mill would pay for something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Let's go see what this other one did over here. I think I made it easier to go through there. But now this is inaccessible. Okay, right, well, let's go down. Looks like there's a soul to read anyways. Yes, there is a soul. A lone shard of soul essence bobs just above the surface of the water. As I reach out to it, a chorus of whispers rise in my mind. Though I can't make out what they say, a pall of fear and suspicion settles over me like a dark storm cloud. The outlanders come in strange boats bearing gifts and honeyed words. I watch from my gilded walls, wind whipping my hair from its warrior cues, warrior's cue as they climb the many hundred steps to the doors of the palace. Nerves turn my stomach. My seventh child, my only son, is ten days old. I want to give him the world, and I fear these outlanders have come to take it from me, as they have done from others. I return to myself with a jolt, and the vision fades. The jagged shard of essence, essence wedges itself against my soul. Well, that was odd. Looks sort of like a maze that we'll have to navigate. What's this? Oh, the statue is crusted in barnacles and coral. There's another wandering soul here. A wisp of soul essence blocks my path. It extends tentative tendrils towards me, sensing a bit of itself within my own soul. It yearns to be joined with that sliver again, and I cannot help but let it. I unfurl a map of my empire from the, down the length of my grand feasting table. The outlander gasps as I show him its boundaries, which stretch to the edges of the world. He exclaims as I enumerate the many kith subjects to my sovereignty. My son babbles on my knee, and the outlander smiles. He insists that the gods must favor me to have given me so large a domain and so bright an heir. I agree, the gods have blessed me indeed. The wisp of essence clings to the others within my soul, radiating unease. Let's see about this. What is this over here? Oh, Shodi's going to see. So we came from over here. We haven't seen what's in this one. Could. I'm gonna come back. 
Oh, okay, no. So we've been here. We can go through that one. Let's see what this pedestal does. The water's lowering. That's right where we were by. Too deep to go that way. Oh, there's a spear over there. The statue's holding it. Can't get to it, though. Oh, look all this writing engraved on the rock. Enemies ahead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a, a scourge. It's not something to, uh... You know, let's run. Let's take it. Yes. There, get over there. It does nothing. Uh, we have spirits. I was going to go and flank it, but it looks like I have to take care of these spirits. Let's get the one on the Woman. Would you look at that? Yes. No rush. But if you have any antidotes, Andy, I'd be much obliged. These are tough spirits. Not super tough. I face worse. But tough enough. Seem to get rid of this one. It's like healing itself. One is down. Ow. It'd be nice if it stopped healing itself. I never feel warm. One behind me is dead. This one I fear. <laughs> Gotta bring it down. Yeah, it's down. Let's take out this spear. Okay. Everybody on this scourge. Oh, there's another spear back here. I'll take it down. Take him down. Now it's flanked. Ah, why they always aim for me? Ah. Spirit Essence, of course. Primal Water and Spirit Essence. I have no idea what this writing means. Can't go down. It can't go down here. No. What is this? Compassionate Soul Essence, Corrosive Soul Essence, Primal Water, and Spirit Residue. Alright, so it's pretty... Clear. Well, we can go here. It's, the water's too deep over there. I guess we only have one choice, but go through this portal.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.